owns this, if they also are the owner of this, if, this, if they are the Sandwich Phone manager, they have a insane amount of money, and the house that's on that property does not look that big compared to the other homes in the area. I'm just saying, if you're into, like, all the conspiracy stuff, one could argue that, like, well, rich people are into weird, weird stuff. Maybe it is still used as a cold house. Um, maybe not. Maybe not at all. It was just a little weird to me because, like I said, I pulled this up and I was like, why? I mean, either way, it is very odd to me that the only addresses coming up for this are in the Channel Islands and a P.O. Box. So the owner of this property, like, is not even that easy to search. And for a piece of property that's on, you know, such a big piece of land, the house is not that impressive. I mean, not to be mean, I'm just saying, as if I'm looking at it now, it's a lot of fields now, and the field thing, like, if the KKK are indeed having rallies out here, it's a very big field, but you know what? to say anything. But yeah, I'm looking at this house right now. It honestly doesn't even look like... It looks like two houses. It looks like two modest-sized houses on this property. So what would a rich person be doing on this tiny little property when they're surrounded by mansions galore? I don't know. It's a little weird. Regardless, let's get back to the scary stuff. Look, the skull tree is not the only weird thing about the trees in this area. And while this isn't the scariest part of it all, it is very odd that the closer that you get to this address, the more the trees on the road bend away. They bend away like they're trying to get away from something and look like if anyone knows what's bad for us, it's mother nature. It is. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. She knows what's best for us. It's odd, and you'll see people being like, well, no, it's because they chopped the trees down because they were getting too close to the power lines. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've seen trees that are cut because of power lines, and it's not that because then all the trees on the road would be like that. They're growing away. Other people are like, well, it's because they're growing to the north. Then why don't all trees look like this? You know what I mean? It may be, I don't know. Let's get to the school tree. <sighs> Remains were actually found there in the tree in the late 60s, early 70s. But unfortunately, the police report was incomplete. The stories that began to go around range from a story of a woman giving a stillbirth in the woods, which who is giving a stillbirth in the, uh, who's giving birth in the woods to begin with? Unless maybe it was one of the DuPonts. I don't know. But a woman was giving birth in the woods and she gave birth to a stillborn and she left it under this tree. Another rumor that has spread is that it wasn't a baby someone took a dead animal and wrapped it in a blanket like a baby and put it under the tree. And these rumors began to swirl. And there were rumors that it was done for sacrifice. And unfortunately, these rumors led other people to begin sacrificing animals and things and putting it under this tree. So that also might be why this tree was cemented up because the city was like, look, this is a freak magnet, and we need to stop it now. 
It was odd. 